I usually don't do impersonations, but you know, just this once, who am I? Well, if you guessed that I'm the Republican Party, then give yourself a pat on the back and let out a good old rebel yell, because once again the Confederacy has reared its ugly head and the GOP has embraced it wholeheartedly. The Republican governor of Virginia, Bob McConnell, has gotten himself into a whole mess of hot water by declaring April to be Confederate History Month in his state and asking the people of Virginia to remember the sacrifices of the brave Confederate soldiers and their families, but without ever once mentioning anything about slavery in the proclamation. That is until he started to take a drubbing from every group in the country, with the notable exceptions of the KKK and the GOP. Which really shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone, because whenever one of these chucklehead groups like these Sons of Confederate Veterans rears their ugly heads, Republican politicians bend over faster than you can say Jefferson Davis and do anything these guys ask for, whether it be to hang a rebel flag over a state house or to issue a proclamation honoring the Confederacy. All of which really wouldn't be so bad if these guys didn't constantly try and wrap themselves in Lincoln's burial shroud every time one of them got called out as a racist, because after all, this is the grand old party, the party of Abraham Lincoln, the guy who freed the slaves, so there's no way any one of them could possibly be a racist. Yeah, well, and if you believe that, I've got some darkies for sale off on the docks. They just got off the boat from Africa.